Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Home Scott Selections here for Sunday, January 14th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a nice day starting off with the play yesterday. Had the Knicks minus 7.5 and, and minus 115 on ESPN bet. Line closed at about 10.5 or 11. Knicks did win by 12. Slow start, but blew them out in the second half. But we also had an NFL play from a couple days ago. Give it a same game parlay in the Chiefs Dolphins game. Had the Chiefs minus a half. Parlayed with the Dolphins team total under 21 and a half points, and that paid out at minus 110 on bet MGM. Pretty predictable outcome. The Dolphins and Tua no showed a cold game outdoors. Not a shock. It is what it is. Chiefs dominated, picked up a nice winner. So overall, nice day. Look for another winning day here on Sunday. And for today's play of the day, going back to the NFL, but really did not like much on the Sunday card. So we're going to look ahead to the NFL card on Monday. Going to look at the Monday night game between the Eagles and the Buccaneers. Taking place on Monday at around 8 p.m. Eastern time. And for this game, I'm going to go with the under 43.5 points at minus 110 on points bet. Time recording of 8 a.m. on Sunday, Eastern time. Covering why we're going to take the under 43.5 in this game. First reason, both teams are pretty banged up offensively. A.J. Brown has already been ruled out with a knee injury. Devontae Smith is banged up. Cam Jorgens is uh, questionable. And Jalen Hurts is questionable. They're going to play, but the point is Hurts does have a dislocated finger. Uh, Smith has been banged up for the last couple weeks, and the point is I do think Philly's offense will struggle without Brown and having a somewhat injured quarterback. Meanwhile, Tampa also has an injured quarterback because Baker Mayfield has been battling some rib issues for the last couple weeks. He's played through it, but he has not exactly looked that sharp, and it does seem like the injury is definitely affecting him. So with two injured quarterbacks in this game, this number does feel a bit high. And to go through the actual numbers offensively in Week 18, both teams were really bad. Tampa had a must-win game to win the division, and they played the worst team in the league in the Carolina Panthers, and they didn't score a touchdown. They scored nine points. They won the game nine to nothing, but the point is they were unable to really do much offensively against one of the worst defenses in the entire league. So I do think that, once again, Tampa is going to look a little bit underwhelming offensively with a pretty injured quarterback, and you're looking at the Eagles, on the other hand. They were using the starters, trying to potentially win the NFC East. Wasn't likely, but still, they decided to use the starters for that game against the Giants anyway. And they were atrocious. They scored zero points in the first half. And then Jalen Hurts got pulled. So Philly's offense scored no points against the Giants. And the Buccaneers once again scored nine points in the entire game against the Panthers. Both offenses, non-great form. Now you have the injuries to the equation. And 43 and a half does feel very large, especially based on the weather. Because you're looking at what should be rain in Tampa Bay. So with a potentially underwhelming uh, weather forecast and with both offenses being injured and being in bad form, 43 and a half does feel pretty high. They faced off in the regular season and that game landed 36. Philly dominated time possession. They ran the ball down Tampa's throat. And I do think that even if either of these teams score, you might see a decent amount of long drives that eat up a lot of clock. I don't see many huge play touchdowns. And I do think because of that, this line does feel a bit high. Give me a very ugly, low scoring game. 17, 13, something like that. But I do think at the end of the day, you're looking at 43 and a half being too high. And I am going to go with the unders. Well, that once again, here for Sunday, January 14th, is going to be on the Eagles and Buccaneers under 43 and a half points at minus 110 on points bet. Bye, everyone.